So Midsummer has been a highly anticipated film that many film fans have been waiting for after the director, Ari Aster, delivered an incredible horror revolutionary picture with Hereditary. People were waiting and waiting to see what Ari Aster was going to do next in his filmography, and when we first started to get the little details regarding Midsummer or Midsommar as he calls it, is a very interesting case because we got to see how this movie was developing and again because Hereditary was something that just came out of nowhere the fact we were able to follow Midsummer in its production all the way up to its release it led to a lot more anticipation going into this film and coming out of it I have so many feelings and I still don't quite know how to process them it's taken me a while to get around to doing this review because I've just not been sure what to say but I'm going to do my best to condense my thoughts in this video I think this movie truly cements Florence Pugh as one of the best young actresses we have working today. I think she is phenomenal in this film, and I say that without no understatement, I say that with no hyperbole, I genuinely believe this is one of the best performances we've seen all year. She is tremendous in this film. I was blown away by her performance from the nuance of it to also the raw emotion of it. It was such a brilliant performance, such a blinding performance, and I really liked Florence Pugh in Fighting With My Family earlier this year, which is one of my favourite films of 2019 thus far. I thought she was great in that film as Paige, but in this film... Her acting talent is just paramount. It's insane to the lengths she goes to. In particular, there's a scene at the very beginning of the movie which really demonstrates how incredibly talented this young woman is. And I think that going off this film, I really feel like we could see maybe an EE e. Rising Star Award for her at the BAFTAs this year because it was just incredible what she was able to do with this character, with this role, with this script. It was absolutely mind-blowing. And I genuinely don't want to sound like I'm overselling this because I'm really not. This performance... It's just incredible. It's unlike anything I've seen from an actress of her age, and I can't wait to see what Florence Pugh is going to do next, because her particular performance, the way she's able to carry off the emotion, is so nuanced, and it's so realistic, and I was just blown away by the realism of it all, and that might be a recurring theme you'll see throughout this review. But either way, we know that she has been cast in the MCU's Black Widow film, and that gets me so hyped. To have an actress of this caliber in the MCU is incredibly exciting. And just her performance in this film, honestly, just go watch this movie just for that performance. Because honestly, even though there's so much more to talk about in this movie, that alone is worth the selling point. Also, I have to give props to the camera work in this film because it's truly unique and truly special and truly represents things that, similarly to Hereditary, just kind of give extra meaning to the film. There's a particular shot towards the beginning where the camera goes upside down on a road and it was just a completely out of the out of the blue kind of shot but one that fits so well and kind of I've seen people compare it to The Wizard of Oz. I've seen people say that this film and this particular camera movement is actually representative of when Dorothy actually goes into you know the the other world and I feel like that's actually quite an interesting comparison because it does kind of feel like that at times. This movie does kind of feel like The Wizard of Oz at times and I feel like that comparison I never thought of it myself but here Hearing someone else say it and then bringing it into the consideration of this film you can really see where that comparison comes from and that particular camera shot is very very good and it very much represents that idea in full front and also if you've seen hereditary you will know there are a lot of good camera moments in that particular film and that completely carries over in midsummer it to deliver an incredibly just incredibly artistically strong looking film now this film does tension very very well and i feel like looking at this movie from that particular perspective is very very important because this film is quite slow it's quite a big build up it's quite a slow burn type of movie it goes on and it keeps going and going and building and building to an ultimate conclusion and that build up like i say it is quite a slow movie and it's also quite a long movie it's two and a half hours long and the way the movie is able to overcome that long runtime is by building it up with tension and the tension gets higher and higher as the movie continues down its runtime and when you reach that eventual conclusion the tension is literally up to here on your neck and you cannot believe the kind of a level of tension and stress you are feeling at that point because the movie is just escalation and escalation and escalation in regards to tension and normally that can be quite a rough thing sometimes that can be quite a lot to take on but this movie does it in such a subtle way and also mixes it in with its humor to really kind of loosen you up at times and then strike you again with the tension and that is incredibly good filmmaking now this video is titled midsummer horror in reality and the reason why i titled it that 
was because of the particular concept that really strikes me with this film. The reason why I found this film incredibly horrifying, the reason why I found this film so shocking, the reason why I found this film to be completely disturbing and distressing is that this film is real. Unlike Hereditary, which granted really disturbed me, that film has all these supernatural elements and has that supernatural cult element to it. So, you know, a lot of the threats that you are dealing with in Hereditary are not based within reality. In Midsummer, everything you see in this film, and I mean everything, exists in the real world, and that is what adds to the horror of this film. The true nature of the movie, the way that it has a lot of things that ring true, and the way that the film is able to portray these elements through reality, is what makes this film scary. There are so many different elements that come in, and loads of different things that happen where you look at it and go, the reason why it hits you so hard is because you realise damn like that's real the scariest scene in this entire film happens right at the very beginning and i was shaking because of it i couldn't believe how not only how well was it executed but also just from its concept alone how based in reality it was it was something that could literally happen to anybody and i was so blown away by it not only because of that concept but like i say the build-up to it this particular scene the camera work the way it's done it's like a slow reveal to this moment to this reveal moment it was just terrifying, truly terrifying, especially because there's a slight little setup to it about five minutes before. And when you look back and you think back to that little setup that you get before it, it just adds to the scare factor. And like I say, the level of horror that comes from this film, just due to the fact that it's so based in reality, that is what truly makes this film absolutely horrifying and that is why i believe honestly this is one of the most scary films i've actually ever seen because although it's not particularly scary as you would typically expect and it's not exactly i wouldn't quite describe this movie as a horror movie like it we wouldn't really describe it as a horror movie at all to be honest but it's that particular theme of horror in reality and everything being so realistic in this film going back to florence Pugh's performance again being so realistic that is what truly makes this film stand out and truly makes it scary in a way unlike any horror film I've seen before. But I do have a couple of negatives for the film. For one, I do feel like the ending is a bit underwhelming. The ending, like I say, the film does a really good job of building up tension all the way throughout its runtime, but the conclusion that you eventually come to, it is a bit underwhelming. It is a bit like, because it is a little open-ended and it is a little bit open to interpretation, which is fine. I think that's great, but I feel like the ending doesn't quite have a punch. You know, it doesn't quite have that moment that kind of makes you leave with an impact and I feel like Hereditary did that a little bit better I still feel like they kind of suffer from the same problem honestly with Midsummer and Hereditary I think they suffer from the same issue but I feel like Mid uh, Hereditary did it a bit stronger whereas Midsummer, the ending it's good and again it's open to interpretation and the way you can interpret it is very very intriguing and I have definitely had some good discussions online with people about the ending of this film but again, the fact it doesn't leave you with that punch, given how impactful the rest of the movie is, it does feel like you leave on a bit of a flat note. And also, this film's not for everybody. Um, similarly to Hereditary, this film is probably going to drive a lot of audiences away. This film is quite repulsive. It's quite disgusting at times. It's quite, um, you know, it's quite upfront. Um, it's not exactly as, you know... Uh, you know, it's not as quite segregating as some other, like, kind of films that would be described as pretentious. I wouldn't say this movie is pretentious, but the movie is definitely segregated to a certain audience. And if you're not a part of that audience, or at least not accepting to experiment with that kind of thing, I think this movie might turn you off. And I don't think you'll like the movie as much as some people do. So I feel like, you know, this movie's not going to be for everybody. And it's not for you. That's totally okay. Like, you know, a few years ago, this movie totally wouldn't have been for me. Uh, but, you know, kind of with the way I am now, I totally am kind of involved with these kind of things. Um, but, you know, even though with that in mind, this film is not going to be for everybody. And if it's not for you, that's totally okay. And I feel like, you know, people shouldn't make other people feel bad for not liking this film for that particular reason. It just feels like it's a bit stupid. You know, not every movie is for everybody. Like, for example, like, you know, Phantom Thread. That movie's just not for me. I'm not saying that that movie's bad. I'm not saying that that movie is, you know, poorly made or anything like that, because it just isn't. That would be wrong. But for me, I just personally didn't enjoy that movie as it just wasn't for me. Uh, and Midsummer is not going to be, you know, it might not be for you. It might not be for everybody uh, because Midsummer is that kind of movie. And if it's not for you, that is totally fine. But for me, this movie definitely worked and I was blown away by it.
Overall, Midsummer was an incredibly terrifying experience, and that's the best way to describe this movie. It's an experience. Go and watch it on the big screen. Go and experience Ari Aster's horror masterpiece here, because it's something that you will walk away from. Not only glad you've seen it, but also glad you've seen it on the big screen. Because just like Hereditary, this movie is an experience. And similarly to Hereditary, I don't know if I'll watch this movie ever again, but the one experience, the one viewing I've had of it, it definitely was an experience. And like I say, the performance from Florence Pugh alone is worth the price of the ticket. And I feel like the horror that comes from it, the way it's all based in reality, will kind of put a new shock to your system and kind of make you reevaluate horror films and the horror genre as a whole. And the fact that Ari Aster has been able to do that in the course of two and a half hours is extremely impressive. And that is why Midsummer is my favorite film of 2019 thus far. I think it's absolutely incredible. I think it's a unequivocal masterpiece and I'm so excited to see what Ari Aster is going to do next. I think he's an incredible filmmaker, so inspired, probably slightly messed up but anyway I'm very very excited to see where he goes in his career next and for me Midsummer was an incredible film and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I feel like Midsummer, it's it's just an experience like no other. We've had a you know a couple of cinematic experiences this year, things like Us and of course Avengers Endgame. But this movie is so different than those. And it's so very, very poignant. And I think the movie does a really good job of just reaching to its audience. And again, being that shock to the system that perhaps the horror genre has kind of needed as of late. And I feel like this film is just... A needle in a haystack and you should definitely go check it out in your local theater so if you guys seen midsummer if you have make sure you let me know all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below did you like it did you hate it let's have a conversation about this film in the comments down below and as always guys if you want to see more movie reviews from me be sure to subscribe and i hope to see you guys again next time